M O C A. So, why Wood Lake is closed, Nash Lake, worse than Wood Lake, I thought I'd take you for a quick little walk round. So, this is ferns, as you see. Um, some reeds have been removed to take them away tomorrow. Um, so, the fish are spawning in there at the moment. Well, just spawned, so um, still close. So there's no one on the lake. So I thought, you know what? Let's have a little walk. A little walk, a little look. So this is my tree, the next one up. So this has got to be my absolute favourite swim on the whole lake. I've caught one fish from here, 27 pounds, six foot rod. I'll show you the spot. So this is Myers tree, named after Alan's daughter. And that's Ferns, also named after Al's daughter. Um, beautiful swims, man, and I mean, beautiful. So from here, you can mine this little bay, that little tree, and a bit of water out there. So proper banging lake. Wood lake, this one. Um, so, so me 27 pounder come from over by that tree. Uh, there's an eight foot shelf. So I fished on the eight foot shelf. If you come off it, quite bubbling up right there and all. If you come off it, you're in like 12, 13 foot of water. So I, I like the eight foot. So they come round underneath that tree, come all the way around here, right up in the margin up to under this tree. So, years ago, um, the head bailiff, Nick, before um, Kevin Nash had this lake, there used to be a C-Max angling lake, and uh, Nick said he used to come over here and watch him feed down under this tree, down there. So, there's nothing there at the moment, but, so, that's Myers. Um, Path's all laid out nicely. Um, you don't need to barrel around to your swims. You can actually park behind each and every swim. Uh, apart from over on the other side, but I'll take you around there in a sec. So this is our uh, main snags. And uh, main snags for a reason. There's quite a few snags out there still. It's quite a big swim, as you can see. Uh, you can fit two anglers in here. Um, between seven to nine wraps out. Margins are just tasty. So if you're fishing on the right, you want to fish about two, maybe two and a half rod lengths down towards the reeds um, and about, oh, I don't know, about 10 foot out from the bank because when they pick you up, they do run and they run straight into these reeds. There's quite a few down there at the moment. I know there is. Yeah, there is as well. Let's see if you can see them. No. So there's a couple of shapes right in tight. It's probably about one, five fish, six fish in there. So you get right up in the reeds. Um, all the way along. So, I have got a bag of bait that is a mix of scope bait squid and the hot tuna. So this is to your left. Good swim. So in here you want to have your rods two rod lengths down to the left. Like um get here so you'll be in there you want to go a rod length down that way two rod lengths down that way and a rod length out um, then about four rod lengths out just so and hold it and let it fill the, the drop this is a Norfolk buy them lily pads is a good shout six to seven wraps out they're on the hot spot um, 
car parks to your left of Norfolk. Big old space. Walking around the park. There's a lovely little stalking hole down there as well. Lovely. When I'm telling you it's lovely, it's lovely. So, fully bark marks all the way around the path. Probably the steepest bit of it. It was steps before, but we removed them. So, yeah. Oh, this fish down there, all right. This fish down there, all right. So, it's the grass or something. You can see how murky that water is. Sorry, I'm trying to put my glasses over so you can see them. Couple of fish down there, boy. So yeah, there's some lovely little stalking as well. Nice little set of reeds. I call this cap swim. Which is right out to the water's edge. They come right up tight and close. And with this wind back in there. Glasses over the phone, but it's well murky in there, so I know they're in there. But which brings us round. So now we come round, coming up to Little Bay. So we're going to be a 20 minute video, I think. So I come round here just now, before I even thought of making this video, down there. There was just shape after shape after shape. Now the water's picked up, you ain't gonna really see them. But there's probably about three fish down there. There's a ghosty down there, I can see them. So yeah, so this is the corner of Little Bay. Like I said, I'm no good with the old uh, I probably won't even make it all the way around the lake because I'll be stopping. So that's a little bay. I had a fish from literally in between where that cut is there. And then he fished it out over there. There's fish all over the surface there. Look, let me put them on there. Mid water. One, two, three. There's some black shapes out there. Cure, oh, come on. Look at that. Some shapes out there. So, that's Little Bay. Down there. Nice little sloped entrance. Around here. Badger's hole. Um, I believe George Treadwell, Boily Bellies, uh, Boily Belly TV. He was in here uh, a couple of weeks ago and he had a proper good sesh. I think he had about five or six fish down in there, out there, round in the corner by them reeds. So, sorry I'm rushing this now, but I realised I can only do 21 minute video. So this is the plateau, which is right there. That's the plateau, big bay. There's a heap of fish out there, I'll show you them in a sec. So this is the plateau, so you want to be between seven to eight wraps from here. And you want to cast towards the brick, the concrete wall right at the back, to the right hand side of it. And you'll be on the plateau. Um, there's a shorter one just, just to the right of it. One of the little ones in there, look, look at them. 
lovely time down there. The rod down there always helps. So that's the plateau. It's a big bay. One down by that tree. One over in that gap. Black shapes everywhere here. Even just a flick. Just there and let it drop to the corner. Like to where the bottom meets the drop. Black shapes over there. Let's have a walk around there. So you can double up in Big Bay as well. Ooh. God, I'm sweating. It's like 30 degrees. You don't even want to see how much I'm sweating. That's why I'm not even letting myself go on camera. But it's not about me, it's about the lake. Sure it's hot, boys and ladies. Uh, quite a shame up there. I'll get around here. This is where we was having a Nash social, field testers and stuff. Mad like O to the D. Stuck a little six foot rod down here. <sighs> what a macro of a fish he had out of here. That swells on the surface right there. Fish get up under here, I tell you. So from little bay you cast over in the way. Yeah, look, he's swelling, he's eating down there. That's a proper swell down there. So yeah, so also you can do a washing line cast over here, put a bank stick down there, tight line it across, in that shadow there's a couple of fish. Should really put my glasses on and then I can see if there's anything there and just go, oh yeah, look. So yeah, you can put a bank stick down there, tight line it across, throw your rig down there, <laughs> jobs are good. So then that uh, is wet. So I love it down here, I tell you. This place is just mind blowing. Oh, look, there was a fish there that I spooked him out, that big swell. So yeah, come along here. Oh, look, there's a poor little duck. I'll get that moved in a minute. Oh, got it. So yeah, you can stalk from down here when you're fishing, just to swim up here. Put a rod down there. Oh, you poor bugger. So yeah, good little swim here. Uh, nice little margin, very deep off the margin here. Very deep. Those little ones down there, look. Like a blue lagoon, look. Full of babies. Caught, cool, look at all them. Pike are having it. Perch are having it. <laughs> So yeah, I believe this one is slim fast. Nice, tucked away, right by the road though. I've never fished this swim, so I'll be honest, I can't give you any info on it because I have never fished this swim. Um, I've never fished this one either. This one is a long chuck. Never fished this one. But I suppose it should be the same as tucked away. Uh, so from tucked away, eight to nine wraps, mid-water, obviously down in the margin because they're just deep margins. Um, tucked away, rods, landing station, diving boards built by Lee England. Brah, big up Lee England. Hoi, hoi. Oh look, one topped out there and I missed it. What a donut, CJ. So from here, seven wraps out, nine wraps of furthest, one down by the lilies there. Mad if you don't miss it. So wet in there, I tell you. You can walk up this nice little shady bit of bank here. Put your bait out round by the lilies. They get right up under the back there. Look, there you go. And they've gone right there. 
stupid TJ, look, he's moving the lilies as he's going out. Too loud with your big voice, mate. So, you come all the way around. Three toilets on site now. We keep them as clean as we can. Um, so they do smell alright. I put some air fresheners in work. So this is the bar swim. So obviously when you look on the map, you've got the bar that comes out just along there. Um, but the fish do come right up close in here. Like down there. Um, this tree's a good one and all. So yeah, the bar swim. Good stuff right down there as well. Naughty. And then next door, obviously we've got the toilet, well not obviously, but we have named it the toilet swim, or it was named the toilet swim. So, just along here. So obviously you've got this side of the tree as well here. Seven wraps out, this swim. One rod there, seven wraps out or down by the tree. Here, you're looking at nine wraps out towards Myers tree, which is over there. And then your third rod down by them old lily pads there. Or by them little singles over there. So that's the toilet. And I am so wet in mate, seriously. Oh, I've got something stuck in my foot now. So we come all the way back round here. We've got the map of the lake, which gives you like your swim area and stuff like that. So that's the whole map, what we just walked round. So we're back here at the toilet, show you the view, view and then uh, that's it. Rules. Um, so rules might have changed, so if you check online that would be great. Um, some rules might have changed. I know you can't see it through the phone, but so, this is the view. Down by my old van, right? So this is the view swim. Tell you what, if you don't have a rod down here, you're crazy. Literally. See that light chalky patch? Follow it round. Just the other side. Drop it. Bring it round. Bank stick there. <sighs> Naughty. One over there if you dare. And one, literally, three rod lengths out because there's a little slope that drops down. Just the other side of these lilies. And if you're brave enough, you can get to that tree that's leaning over. Once again, that's another eight foot drop. It's the same as the one from Myers tree over there. Um, and that is your water, really. So yeah, big up yourselves. Thanks for watching. Yes, I'm sweating. Yes, I've got no top on. Crazy. So, I'll take you around to where I'm fishing. Caught, you can see the sweat dripping down my face, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, around it. <sighs> so, now that's Kingfisher Lake up there. All the way up. That's wood. I'll do another video on a Kingfisher. And uh, I'll get that posted up as well after this one. So, this is my gaff. Where I'm at. Six foot rod, literally fishing under the tip in a bit. There's fish all over it out there. So hopefully, so one down there, one over there, and one by the damn wall. So, all black shapes over there. So wet. So, fishing just the tips over the top quite far back so they don't spook them. They are there. Let's walk up here quickly. Put that down there. Look at stalky, look at speaky old. Ouch, I've really got something sticking in my foot. It's really giving me grief. So, 
uh, hopefully, I think so. Sorry I haven't really put my boat race on camera too much, but I'm sweltering, mate. I am absolutely sweating. So, that was Nash Lake's Wood Lake. This is Nash Lake Kingfisher. I will do another video of this one. Well, I will do a video of this one later on a bit. And I'll get it posted up similar times. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, keep it carpy. Tight lines, huh? Adam, see you.